Call from a uh, 312. Who's this? Yeah, hey, it's, yeah, hey, it's Hans Marks. And uh, I was just curious what you thought the chances were that Trump actually wants to lose at this point. <laughs> you know, uh, my sister uh, texted me that last night. Like, is he trying to get at what's he, what's he doing? I, 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 I mean, God knows what happens at 3 a.m. at the, the Trump household, right? <laughs> like, I mean, just, you know, the guy wakes up in the middle of the night and just, who, 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 who you know, I have no idea. Takes bloating pills and, or I don't know, goes and. Don't you think it's also just that he has, like, the one thing that I've noticed that is very, that is distinctive about him and his psychological makeup is he just does not have any ability that uh, like a skill that I think you start to learn maybe like in middle school to just be like, you know what, in this particular incidence, instance, instance, I don't really need to fight over this. So I'll say like, Hey, it's all right. Uh, Live it for another day. I don't think that's true. You don't think he's no, because I think, look, he clearly, clearly started to back off the judge, uh, the judge stuff clearly started to back off. He came out with a message. Like I was misconstrued right? right now. Look, In a million years, it's impossible to misconstrue what he was saying. There is no, there is no rational explanation. Unless he said, I would be racist to say that he said it. Right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. (laughs) But there's no rational explanation as to why you would mention that this guy is of Mexican heritage, the judge, unless you were trying to say, Look, the guy's Mexican and he knows, you know, his Mexican heritage and he knows that um, I, uh, you know, have a problem with Mexicans <laughs> or something. And so he's, he's trying to take it out on me. I, he, he clearly tried to back off that. He clearly had to deal. But I also think that there's two things. One, I think he's incapable. I think like just constitutionally incapable of acknowledging that he's making a mistake. I think he only like to say like, okay, from a negotiation standpoint, I got to make a deal with Paul Ryan. This is the deal I'm going to make. And I think the other problem he has is that he also has to know that the reason why he was successful in the Republican primary was because he's such an a-hole. I mean, that's, I'm being, I'm being a little bit reductive, but essentially that's what it was, right? Like my disposition... And, and I think, but the problem that he has now is like, how does he hold his base and go to the general population of normal people and attract them? And look, this goes back to something I have been saying for five years. It is the Bachman principle. And that is based upon Michelle Bachman's addressing through closed circuit TV Tea Party Nation, or whatever it was called, in a rebuttal to Barack Obama during uh, after one of his uh, State of the Union addresses. And CNN, in their attempt to, I don't know, co-brand with the Tea Party, also had their camera there. And the problem Michelle Bachman had was that she was talking to two different cameras that were set up about six to t- maybe 12 inches apart from each other. And she chose to speak to the Tea Party camera. But for people on CNN who are watching on CNN, in other words, the normal people, the non-Tea Party people, the people who are normal in America, um, she was talking just about 12 inches off of camera, but it looked like she thought she was talking into the camera. So she looked completely insane. And the dilemma you have if you are a Republican candidate and you are trying to run on a national level is that you cannot seem sane to normal people, to the American people, broadly speaking, if you are addressing the Tea Party, i.e. the Republican base and vice versa. (laughs) The gulf is just too wide. And that's the problem that Trump has. And he's trying to figure out how he can walk that line. And the fact is, he can't. He can't walk that line. It is too, it is too thread thin. 
He just he's going to slip off it. Now, like last night, he managed to try and walk that line. He's had a couple of nights when he been able to do it, but it's not sustainable. And he needs to literally have his hand held during the thing. And then what happens is his hand is being held and everybody can see that his hand's being held. And that diminishes him too. So he's, you know, I don't think he's trying to get to 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 exit the race now. I mean, you know, I maybe in the back of his mind, maybe at three in the morning, he thinks like, maybe if these guys had enough cojones, they'd kick me out. But they can't. They, I don't know how they would do it. I mean, I would have more respect for them. Yes, of but course. But I don't. But no. They're punks. So that's it's my true. long-winded well, answer like to that very, very brief question. See, here's what I would say if I was a campaign manager. I'd say, listen, all you have to do is say leftism doesn't work except when I do it, and then just move so hard to the left. That's really, that's really his only game plan here to win like a landslide. Yeah, but the problem is, and then what happens to the people who are like, uh, you know, to the to the Paul Ryans? I mean, you you know, I'm a conservative socialist. Yeah, but 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 here's the problem: is that like, what does that leave? Where does that leave Paul Ryan? Where does that leave the donors? I mean, he can't do this himself. He can't. He cannot do it himself. It's just too big. And so he needs the parties. He needs the party establishment. He needs the party base. He needs the donor class. He's going to need them and be owned by them uh, when he's and and because he wants to win, and he can't win at anything if he doesn't have them behind him. And they can't sign on to it. It is easier for Paul Ryan to sign on with a racist than someone who says, "I'm going to do leftism." It doesn't matter what the policies are. It doesn't matter any of that. It's the rhetoric. These are the, the they are beholden to their base, who they have created, and and that's the bottom line. There's no room for him to maneuver. Racism is negotiable. Kids getting clean drinking water, not Forget so much. Forget it. Forget it. Exactly. We have to have principles at some point. Well, it's mostly against Mexicans. Let's be, you know, he's, he's keeping at least narrow. Right. Exactly. Appreciate the call. <laughs> right. Thanks. Hello, you. I'm Sam Cedar. Looking for smart, progressive talk that is occasionally amusing? Well, subscribe to our YouTube feed. Subscribe to our podcast. Like us on Facebook. And just generally enjoy us.